I'm Steve Polge, I'm the Unreal Tournament project lead, and we're here at GDC, I'm going to talk about Unreal Tournament. So this is a franchise that dates back a very long time. Talk about how you guys are approaching this new iteration. You're making feel old. <laughs> um, well, the, the cool thing, this uh, we started nine months ago, and the idea was that we we're going to build Unreal Tournament in collaboration with the community. So we've been completely open. All our code, all our content is available for the community. They've been contributing a lot of stuff to us, both in terms of suggestions and feedback and bug reports, but also a lot of the amazing uh, content that we're, that's being developed is being developed by the community. For example, the, uh, the cool new flat cannon was community concepted and meshed, so the entire process from start to end uh, was done by community members. Same thing with our enforcer. Uh, we have a cool, one of our cool new levels is DM Leah that was also built entirely by a community member. Uh, so we're really excited about that. These guys are actually, we brought them to GDC so they can talk to other people about uh, the experience of creating stuff for Unreal Tournament. And now with the uh, editor being free, it's even easier for people to get in and help us build this game. Talk a little about how the process works, like how do you communicate, how do you get feedback from them? Um, so we're very involved, uh, That's and actually that's one of the big uh, challenges for us is figuring out all the best ways to communicate. So we have a forum uh, that we're on every day and people are, have lots of different threads on different topics and people are posting screenshots and concepts of the things they are working on or they'd like to do. Uh, we've got an IRC channel, so we are all old school, you can tell we, we started off 15 years ago. Um, we also have a Trello board where we post um, all the different tasks that um, our, the small Epic team is working on and tasks that we'd love for community people to take on with us. And they're you know, doing both code tasks and content tasks. People, like I said, are doing uh, bug testing for us and you know, all kinds of stuff. And every kind of feedback is invaluable and it's helped you know, us get to where we are now in just nine months with a team of less than 10 people at Epic. Um, it's really amazing. And you know, a lot of that came from the community and so it's really exciting. I, I'm just loving this. And you actually have the game up and running pre-alpha. Talk about the level you design and how you think that will help people push things forward. So, so we, we've actually got a bunch of uh, level shells. So we've been uh, doing uh, building levels to test the gameplay. And uh, we've been doing that for a while. Community has been doing that as well. And then what we've just uh, released, so we've been making playable builds since last August that our community has been playing with us and testing. But uh, we've been kind of quiet about that, even though anybody could get them, because you know, it's really early. Even now, we're still, we're still pre-alpha, it's still early. But it's, you know, it's getting to be fun to play. And now what, what's new, well, the two big pieces of news this week, of course, is the Unreal Editor is now free, so everybody can easily jump in and help us build this game. And then also um, Outpost 23, it's a beautiful new level that kind of shows where we want to go with the game. And you know, what we're trying to do is make level, make a game that's beautiful but runs fast, plays great, and you know, we think we're we're on our way there, and we need your help to do it. Um, the, so Outpost 23 is the is, a, is the epic created level, and then Leah is the uh, level that's created by uh, one of our community members. It's available on our marketplace, and we you know love for everybody to check that out as well. We're going to be continuing to work. We're really looking for the community to help us build more shells for gameplay and build more final levels and come play the game with us and make it with us. You guys also have playable characters. Talk about if someone enters the game world right now, who they can choose from. So right now we have two, and these guys, these are so hot off the presses, we just got them, the artists just got done with them last week. So we have um, a Malcolm character and a Necris character, and they're the first two um, high-res characters that we've done for the game. Uh, we've got community, um, contributors, those were created by uh, by Epic folks. We've got community contributors that are also working on their own characters, so we expect to see more coming online soon. We're really looking for the community to help us with that. That's an area where we think uh, community can create a large diversity of character types, and we we look forward to seeing what, what the community can create. And that's one of the things we expect to be able to provide for others on the marketplace. How do you see things moving forward? You guys are in pre-alpha, but as the community gets more and more active, they now have more to play with, kind of what what's the uh, the rollout? Well, I mean, in a sense, this game now, I mean, we do have a focus on getting to the point where we have something that we think is finished and ready to play. So I don't, when I say that this game will never be finished, I don't mean it'll never be finished. It's just that we're always going to continue improving it and adding more. I mean, UT is known for having a wide variety of game types of mutators and all kinds of stuff. And so we're going to keep adding more stuff like that over time. But right now we're focusing on getting our deathmatch and capture the flag and those basic core game types that, you know, kind of started the whole this whole genre really polished and really playable. At the same time, 
community members are already starting to work on some mods, so new game types and you know people are doing their own movement schemes if they want to experiment with different stuff. So we see that as something that's going to be ongoing, and and over time we may see oh the, you know something that this guy had prototyped really is resonating with the community, and so we're going to bring it into the core game, or it may develop into its own completely different mod. And it's part of the Unreal Tournament universe. I mean, the Unreal Tournament universe is is big enough to to support a huge range of gameplay. And so anything you create, you know, you just have to get people to like it, and and people will come play it with you here.